New Yorkers like to think they've seen everything, but this was beyond their imagination. Stairwells became smokestacks. Clouds of soot billowed up the stairs to the very top of the 110-story office towers. Some evacuees say they couldn't see their hands outstretched in front of them as they groped their way down to the ground, choking on the smoke. The explosion blasted a gaping hole through the ceiling of the second sub-basement in tower number one. This is where firefighters say the injuries were most severe, a crowded stop for commuter trains that shuttle workers across the Hudson to New Jersey. The offices just above the area lie in ruin. Obviously injured her foot, trying to uh, help her, putting her in a chair, take her toward the ambulance. It's How many There's apparently a lot of people trapped uh, and a lot of people coming out with a lot of smoke inhalation and burns and injuries and it's really serious and we got to go back Come on, get the stretch <laughs> Let them release and we'll go. Just get some more. All right. 
There were some calls uh, made claiming credit for the bomb. There were a total of at least uh, seven calls that were made. We're not going to give you the specific uh, statements. It's just our policy as far as these calls are concerned. And so we're operating jointly with the, uh, with the FBI and the uh, ATF uh, people. We have ongoing task forces that we work with every day of the year. This is nothing unusual for us to interact with the federal agencies. Are you 